We at Samsung Mobile have just announced the Galaxy Note 2, and I'm going to take you through a first quick look at some of the key features. The Galaxy Note 2 features a 5.5 inch HD Super AMOLED display and a 16 to 9 screen ratio to give you a nice widescreen cinema like viewing experience. But what's really nice is that even with this new larger screen, it's extremely portable. The width is designed to fit nicely into your hand. It's very light and it has a really nice curved ergonomic design that feels very comfortable and natural when you hold it. So let's check out a video to see this viewing experience. I can open up one right here and I'll select this to view and what we can see is the great detail and clarity of the Galaxy Note 2. Additionally, it's powered by a 1.6 GHz quad-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, and is running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. The large screen of the Galaxy Note 2 is also designed for a better visual experience and enhanced readability. For example, let's check out some content on Pinterest. When we look at the screen right here, you can see immediately how much detail is in one view. This means less switching off to another screen, and when I do click on for more detail, I actually can see a lot more photographs than you would on a smaller screen. This works similarly for an app like Instagram. When I click in, I can see all of my photos right here in front of me. And even when I want to click into a stream view, I see a lot of detail, a lot of visual clarity for these full screen photos. So let's check out some of the photos that I've taken. I can click out into my gallery view and you'll see we've added a few new ways to view your pictures. First, let's take a look at them like a timeline. I can scroll through them and this is just kind of a fun way to see all the photos you've taken. I can also switch this over into a spiral and then spin through everything I've taken on my Galaxy Note 2. So let me go back into my albums to pick a few to view. I like this one and so I'll click in and Look at all this detail that you can see when I scroll through them. It's really great for viewing. It's also great for managing and organizing your photos. So let me go back into the gallery. And let's say I want to create a new album to organize some of these photos. So I'm going to click on New Album. And I want to organize some from the lake. So I'll type in Lake. And then let me select the four that I took here, these four click and then drag and then just like that I've created a whole new album right here on my Galaxy Note 2. Being productive with the Galaxy Note 2 is also even easier and more intuitive. A lot of this is due to our enhanced S Pen. We've introduced a new feature called AirView where I can bring my S Pen over the screen and hover to preview content without having to open it. Let me show you here in S Planner. I can look at my schedule and without having to open any appointment, I can hover over to get a preview of what's happening. I can also use AirView to preview my emails. So let me open up my email account. And in here, I can hover over an email to see the subject or the body of the email. Very convenient. Additionally, I can use AirView to preview videos. So I open up my video gallery. And from my live video list, I can hover over a video and it will start playing. Here again. And then when I click into play, if I want to move forward in the video, I can then hover over the video timeline, preview what's happening, and find the area I want to move to. There you go. Very simple. Lastly, I can use AirView to check out my gallery. In my gallery, I have a number of albums with a lot of pictures in them. So I can hover over one of these albums, and there's a quick preview of what's inside. Another cool feature is called Quick Command. With this, I can easily launch into any of my frequently used apps and save a lot of time. So I'll press down on the button of the S Pen, swipe up, and the Quick Command then loads. Now you can see that I have seven preset gestures here, including this M for Google Maps that I've put in, but you can add as many customizations as you like. Since we just announced the Galaxy Note 2 in Berlin, I'm going to check what the weather is like there. So I'll write in star for search, and then write out Berlin, weather, and even with my bad handwriting, this will get recognized, and just like that, I have the result. Now one of the great features for productivity is pop-up play. 
This allows you to multitask by watching video and doing something else at the same time. So let me open up the video player here. And I'll select one of these videos to watch. There we go. And say I want to email a friend or send an SMS. I can press the pop-up play button. The video will load on top of the screen. And then I can move it down and I'm free to do anything else. So I'll open up email and there you go, a really cool feature. Or another example is the pop-up note feature, which lets you take notes without interrupting whatever else you're doing on screen. So say I'm looking through my email here, and maybe I come across a trend that I want to capture down quickly. So looking at this, I can press down the S Pen button, and then double tap, and S Note will pop up on screen. So I can move this around, I can expand it or bring it back down, and so once I move this out of the way, I'm going to quickly jot down this trend I see. So from 2009, I have 136,000 up to 2010, and then 2011, and then I'm quickly done. I can save this away and use it again anytime I need to. Very easy, very productive. And the last feature I want to show you for productivity is the screen recorder function. This lets me record everything I do on screen, plus the audio, so I can basically create my own video lesson. So say I'm looking through my email here, I get one from my coworker, and I open up his attachment, and then right away I can tell that he has some errors in here, some old data, so I'm going to need to give him some detailed explanation on what to do. So I'll press the home button and the up volume button at the same time, and you can see that it's now recording the screen. I'll now switch over so I can edit this with the pen. And I'll say, Wes, looks like you have some old data. Please lower this down to 7, like this. And then the next year is going to need to go up to 12. You can adjust the graph accordingly, a little bit lower here, higher here, and there you go. Just like that, I now have a video lesson to send to my coworker. So I can stop the recording. And then I'm going to view this again. And you can hear my audio in the background as I talk to him. So I'll press the home there button and the up volume button at the same time, and you can see that it's now. And then I'm free to send this off to my coworker really quick, really easy. We've also made it easier to capture and crop images to share or to store in a scrapbook for quick access. So here, I'm going to go into the Samsung mobile site. And I've got a friend, Jay, who's really into Samsung mobile products. So I've seen this unpacked event that I want to share with him. So I'm going to press down the button here, crop freely right around the edge, and then I'll have some options of where I can send this to. But I want to send an SMS, so I click Messaging. And from here I can type in my friend Jay. And just as quickly as that, I can now send him the message really easy. So let me show you another way to use this feature called Easy Clip. I've been looking up information on clothes to buy for my girlfriend. So let me open up this site. And I think this is possibly a nice shirt that she might like. So again, I'll press down the S Pen button. And I can trace right around the edge of the shirt like this. And then this time, instead of sending to messaging, I'm going to open it up in Scrapbook. So now I can go into my S Notes. And then right down, I have my scrapbook. And this is where I've been storing all sorts of dresses and clothes I've found for my girlfriend. So I'm just going to add a little star next to this one. And then just like that, I've got another option to buy her. As you've seen, the S Pen is great for adding the personal touch of handwriting back into our communication. With the Galaxy Note 2, we've added even more ways you can do this. This can be by email with handwritten emails or signatures, or as I'm about to show you, we can now use our calendar with the S Planner and handwrite on this. So I'm going to go into handwriting mode, and here I'm looking at the month. I want to add some notations so I can say right here, this week, that's my vacation. I'll jot that right in. And then let's see, the first, this is my anniversary. Can't forget that, so I'll circle and underline that. And then why don't I add in the 29th? That's when we just announced the Galaxy Note 2. 
very important, so I'll put that in, and there you go. Also, I've had my calendar synced with Facebook. This means that all my friends' birthdays are stored right here on screen. So I can see right now I've got a friend with a birthday, and I don't want to forget to give him a message. So I'll just click right there. And with S Planner, I can now actually write a Facebook wall post. Or I can send an S Note greeting, and I'm going to click on that. And from here, I have the option to add in a photo, but I think I actually want to draw something, so I'll get rid of this. And let's see. I say, happy birthday at the top. So let me write in his name. Happy birthday, Sam. And then I'm going to draw in a nice little cake here. A blueberry cake. That's his favorite. There you go. And then that's the end, number 30. And then right from here, I can upload directly to his wall. Add in a name. There we go. And hit upload. And just like that, you can see it's now uploading to his Facebook page. And then when we check it out, you can see on his timeline, my post stands out very nice and large and looks great. So the last feature I want to show you here is called Best Faces. So I've taken a photo of five of my friends, and as you can see, I've got a burst of five of each of them. So I can go in and select the best shot of each person. And this is specifically great because I have my friend Gabriel on the end, who's known for always ruining my photos. So looking here, he's got kind of a Frankenstein face in this shot. But luckily, Best Faces has captured a good one. Best Faces in the Galaxy Note 2 have helped me create a great photo. I can actually click to make this go to the back of the photo. And from here, using the S Pen, I can leave a note just like I would with a physical photograph. So for this, let me just put in the date. And then, this was pretty exciting for me. I got to test out the brand new Galaxy Note 2, so I'll write that on the back. And then, whenever I look back on this, I'll know exactly what was happening, thanks to this little note. I can then open an app called Paper Artist. And as you'll see, right away, it kind of takes the form of a paper sketch. And I have a number of different preset options here I can go through. Some nice little templates. But actually, I want to open it up with the first one. And from here, I can use the S Pen to actually color in and bring to life the photograph. So I'm going to color in some of my friends. And just like that, I'm turning an ordinary photo into a nice little piece of art. And I can post this to my Facebook page. I can send this out to my friends. And it's a nice keepsake for all of us. So this really shows what a great creative tool that the Galaxy Note 2 can be, even for someone like myself who's not necessarily the greatest artist. So thank you for watching. This has been the first hands-on video for the Galaxy Note 2. Please stay tuned for more information at the Samsung Mobile YouTube channel.